The word niente and its identical word nulla are common negative Italian words. Like nessuno and nessuna, they are not only equivalent to the negative nothing, but also to anything when they are used with a negative verb. I gave you two examples. Niente or nulla, since they are equivalent, è impossibile. Nothing is impossible. No, no, nulla or niente. I don't have anything. In the first example, niente e nulla precede the verb is, è. And in that case, they don't need the negative non. In the second example, nulla e niente follow the verb o. And this is the case where the negative non is used. As you can see, when nulla and niente follow the verb that is preceded by the negative non, the English equivalent is anything. In any case, whatever position they occupy in the sentence, if they follow the verb and the sentence as the negative non, or if they precede the verb without non, the meaning stays exactly the same. For example, the sentence non mi piace nulla or niente is perfectly equivalent to niente or nulla mi piace. And they both mean I don't like anything. Niente and nulla are invariable. They don't change their form. When they combine with an adjective, for example, buono, good, uh, strano, strange, the adjective keeps its singular and masculine form. And the preposition D must be placed in between nulla or niente and the adjectives. So, for example, nothing good. You first translate nothing with niente or nulla, then you translate good with buono, and you must remember to keep always the form buono, and you place between niente or nulla and buono the preposition di. So the result is niente or nulla di buono. The same thing you do with nothing beautiful. So nothing is niente or nulla. Beautiful is bello and you don't change the form of bello. You always keep bello. And you place the preposition di in between niente or nulla and the adjective bello. So the result is niente or nulla di 